Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to do a bit more in this book. I'm going to try to, because the cat is sitting on my pencils. No, I'm not joking, she is actually sitting on my pencils. Can you move? <laughs> she is. There she is. Come on. That's it. Good girl out of the way. And I've also lost the purple I was using for the sky. Which is not good. It's in that it's somewhere. I just don't know where. Ah, uh, I'm not very prepared today because I don't know where my and this is <coughs> excuse me. Pencil sharp has gone. Everything has disappeared. And I'm not joking. Everything has just disappeared. So we'll do our best. So how are we? Everybody okay over wherever you are in the world? I hope so. We're all right here. eBay is uh, slowly, slowly picking up a bit. I am getting a few sales in, not as many as I'd like, but it's better than nothing. Hello. Cat's on the table. You all right, Zed? And we're, we're okay. Jennifer's enjoying school, which is the main thing. Um, Paul's not working this morning, he's working this afternoon, he booked the morning off because uh, he had a, a live stream funeral last night for a friend who died who was in, uh, lived in New Zealand, so, from school, so he's a bit not with it, you know, he's not very happy at the moment because of it, so, he's just uh, taking it easy, trying to get some rest before he has to work, because he's supposed to go out tonight, so. Oh yes, that is good, isn't it? Going out as well. Poor sod. So, what have I been up to? Well, if you watch the weekly vlog, you know I have been doing a lot of eBaying. Uh, photographing, listing, drafting, selling a few <laughs> items too. Um, store name is Andrea's underscore attic, if you, uh, 74, if you want to go and have a look. It's all good fun. It's mostly clothing and vintage cameras, I'm not gonna lie. Vintage cameras are my thing, you know that. So, I just like cameras. <laughs> the problem with cameras is, and the reason I do a lot of clothing, is cameras take me a long time because I like to make sure if I'm listing something and I want to list it as working. I want to test it first. So I've got one camera here that's worth quite a bit that I've got a roll of film in at the moment. And I'm going to be testing that one soon. I know, you can't see what I'm doing. It's because I can't see. It's so bright in here today. It's, the temperature's dropped. From last week where I said we were hot, it is now cold. <laughs> Not cold enough to put the heat in on as far as I'm concerned. Um, but I don't. I, I like being cold. I like to be cold rather than hot. It's like I always say, you can always put on another layer of clothing when you're cold or a, wrap a blanket or a dressing gown around you. There's only so much you can take off before they arrest you. And that's what I've always said. So <laughs> I love winter. I love autumn and winter. It's, this is a nice time of year. Today is a beautiful sunny day. It's not raining which means that it's not raining, it's not miserable out, it's not grey, it's a beautiful blue sky out there, it's cold, you know, but it's, it's nice. So, yeah, I really, really like it the way it is at the moment. So if it wants to stay like that for a bit longer, it, you know, like, like it is cold but sunny, it can. So I'm, I don't like the rain particularly, unless I'm in the house and I'm listening to it. But I do like the cold. My favourite time of year is, is autumn and winter. Winter, when you get a nice sunny day with, with a crisp frost on the ground is my favourite. So, yeah, I do, I love it. And Jennifer's doing well at school. She's happy. She loves it. She loves school. It's so easy to get her to go in in the morning. There's no tantrums. There's no tears. She's struggling at the moment because she wants to do her shoes up and she's got buckled shoes. And it's the first time she's had them and she can do them. But she gets so distracted if, if the TV's on that she um, stops doing what she's doing. And then we're like, Jennifer, 
can you finish putting your shoes on? Uh, last night we were colouring together. She hasn't finished her picture yet, but it will be up on my Instagram tonight. Probably she remembers to finish it. I'll try and get her to finish it tonight. It's really cute. It's from the Squishmallows book, which I haven't actually started mine yet, so I'm going to have to do one soon, I think. I've got so many books. I just love watching, and I'm, I am currently watching them, the people, uh, um, completed pages from August. It takes me a while to, to watch all the coming videos because there's so many. And of course, Jennifer likes to have her TV on. So unless I watch it on my phone, and I do sometimes, I don't really get to watch when I want to. I watch a bit in the evenings when she's gone to bed or if I'm doing the washing, putting it away, I'll go upstairs. The battery's gonna run out in a minute, so I'll have to change it. Put it on charge, I've got another one somewhere. Thing is, I keep robbing the cables to use for other things. <laughs> I am terrible. I don't know where this purple's gone. It's got to be over. It's probably in my drawer. Or it's ended up in Jennifer's pencils. I'll have a look. <laughs> Not right this minute. I'll finish the sky later. Right, I better change this battery. I will be back in a minute. Oh dear, what a day, I'm telling you. It's, it's just not good. Yeah, I don't know what happened to that purple. Uh, if I can't find it, I'll have to find out which one it was and take it out of my second set of Prismacolors. So I've got another set upstairs. I did have a quick look for it and I can't see it. I don't think it's gone into Jennifer's box of uh, pencils from what I can see. Because it would be on the top if it was and it's not. She very rarely uses her pencils. I use pencils more than she does. And I don't use them very often. I like markers, I think because it's quicker. But I like using watercolours. But oh, it's a nightmare when Jen around because as soon as I say I'm going to do some watercolours or I want to get my paints out, she wants to paint. And that means I've got to paint with her because she wants to make a hell of a mess and do like hand prints and stuff, which is fair if she's still a kid. But it also means that I can't do what I want to do. So I want to do a picture in Chelsea's book in a minute. Is one of my next is my next one to do um and it's got a really big background so i want to do a, an acrylic paint background but that means getting the paints out which means jennifer's going to want to paint unless i do it when she's not there which is really difficult because i have to put on a big table here down here because i haven't got a light at the moment i'm going to get a ring light when i get some money for my camera and they're like 100 quid so it's gonna have to be when I get my payout from YouTube, I think, which is only 60 quid, but still, I pay for most of it. So I can do filming upstairs again in, in the office, which I can do then when Paul's working. So the only reason I can do this at the moment is because he's, he's off. But upstairs, there's not really a lot of space to put paints and, and, and water on that desk. So, yes, yes. It's all right if you're using watercolour pencils, but if you're using the actual paints, it's a bit more difficult. So, yeah, I might say to her, we'll get the paints out at some point over the weekend so I can do that background. I said, I've got to do something, but you can paint and I'll paint with you after, but I have to do mine first. <clears throat> so, yeah. So, eBay is getting on my nerves at the moment. Not I'm not getting sales because I am getting the odd sale through not as many as I'd like but they are coming through which is good but I went in there yesterday to put live list that some list five listings live because I, I haven't got that much stock so I do five at a time if it gets to a point where I've got um 100 drafts you can only have 100 drafts then of course I would think right okay I've got 100 drafts I need to list more and maybe list 10 at a time for for a little while anyway but I went in there to put my drafts live my listings live yesterday and they'd taken out all the bloody delivery options so what I do is and I'm going to do it after I finish this I've got to do my live listings feedback and accounts what I would like to do is put my everything ready so that all I've got to do is press go press list item well yesterday I went to do that and I, I did it and it says no you need to set, set to the delivery option I thought well I've done this so I went and I put the delivery option back in and it was on it's every item. They've taken it out of every single item. It's so annoying. 
So now when I go back in after I finish this video and when I'm getting it edited together, I've got to go and put all that back in and I'm only going to do it for the five I'm putting live today in case they do it again. And it is so annoying because it's I'm doing the job twice now on those. I won't bother on the new items. I won't put that in until I list them. But I like to have it all ready so I could just press go. It makes it a lot easier for me. But oh no, eBay decided to annoy me. And they've probably done it to everybody else as well, but nobody's mentioned it on the reseller group, so. So Saturday this tomorrow we might go to town. Uh, I said to Paul, if you do take her into McDonald's, we'll have a quick McDonald's. Um, we'll have one tonight, just because she likes to play on the tablets. And McDonald's is next to one of my favorite charity shops. <laughs> And I said, what you can do is, we'll ask me to be, and then she can play on the tablet for as long as she wants. And I can go and look in, in the charity shop for any clothes I think are worth doing. Now, this is a pound charity shop, so anything other than Primark, Matlan, is worth it, really. Those sorts of shops I wouldn't bother with. Shein, I wouldn't bother with. But, you know, even Marks and Spencers next. New look to a point if it's a really nice item, but new look not so much. Sometimes you get some really good stuff. I said I got um, a coat last week, last Friday. I went to town with, with Paul because he had the day off. We went for a quick look around the charity shop. Unfortunately, the one I want to go in tomorrow was shut last week. It should be open this week. And um, I got a very, very nice Jacques Fur coat. Now it's a pretty good brand and it's a gorgeous winter coat, absolutely gorgeous. It really looks nice and it's in such good commission and it's wool cashmere as well. It's not much, 75% wool, 5% cashmere and then 20% something else. But it is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, if it was my size, I'd keep it myself. And it's quite a good size. It's an 18, which is a good size, so. I'm just putting a bit of different colour on now just to make it look a bit better. I, I, I'm not very good in, in this book, I don't think. I, I, I'm not, I, don't like, I don't like the way this picture's looking, to be fair. But I will finish it. I probably won't finish it on camera. I'll probably finish it off camera later today. So we can do something different next time. I've got so many books. I might try and do one in a book I haven't. I might do a Whip in the Whip. Should we go back to doing some Whip in the Whips? I've got some of them to do. I have managed to get the whips down, but not enough because a lot of the whips I've got are, are double page spreads. And it's very, very hard to do them on the sofa. But here on the table or on the desk upstairs, it's not so bad. So maybe we'll do a whip in the whip. I've got a couple of um, Alan Robert pictures to do and Halloween is coming up. As soon as we get past Halloween, it's flipping Christmas, isn't it? Oh, dear me. Now Jennifer was, wants a tablet, so she's going to have a tablet for Christmas. She's got other things as well, obviously. And a pair of uh, kiddie headphones, so that we don't have to listen to it. Oh, Paul's moving around. But yeah, so hopefully we'll get her a tablet and then we can have the TV pack and I can watch all my colouring videos. Like I used to. Not just colouring videos, I, I watch other videos as well, like... Uh, some urban exploration stuff, not a lot, but some. And true crime I like. Obviously Marilyn stuff. They're doing the bins, I guess. If you can hear that, if you hear noises banging outside, it's just the bin men emptying the bins. Recycling, I think. Let's be going now, yeah. It's really good though. Ah, gotta love a bit of colouring, haven't we? And I, 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 I'm, I want to buy some pencils and stuff, but I don't need them, I've got tons, but I see all these people with the Calo 520 sets in there. 
what's it, 125, 120 cent, they're brute food. I want them. I can't, I'm, I mean, I'm literally not spending money on myself at the moment, not much. A little bit every now and again, but not much at all. I don't need any more books, really. I don't need any pencils, really. It's just because you see somebody has it and you think, oh, I like that. I want that. <laughs> but I'm not too worried. I've got enough books to be going on with. I will still get the odd one here and there. Like I said, I've cancelled Colour in Heaven, so I will only buy them ones I like. Now, as far as I'm aware, it should. I should still get it up until the um, December. issue but I don't know but I will if I see an issue I like because I'm on the Colour in Heaven groups <laughs> and they post them on there I think oh that looks good I'll go and get that um, so for instance I, I got the collection I don't always get the collection um, I only get it when someone I got the Wizard of Oz one because I love the Wizard of Oz um, and I, I quite like some of the pictures not all of them but it's very, very rare that you'll like every single picture enough in a book to colour it. I know some people do. I, t I will, with patterns I do, I like to colour them in order. And colour by numbers, because they're nice and easy. I see, I, I mean, I, I do like colour by numbers when I'm not in the mood to do much. Or I, I don't want to think. It's like it tells me it's orange or it tells me it's red or yellow or blue or light blue or dark blue or green and it makes life you know I just gotta find a colour that matches the description and I'm away and I, I like that so I mean I haven't even done many buddy colours I have done one with Molly I'm supposed to be doing another one with her I've got to start that I haven't started it yet I have done the one though Molly I just haven't photographed it yet I'll, I'll send it over to you later in fact, you'll probably receive that before you see the, the video, so don't worry about it. Because <laughs> it's ready to be photographed. I'm just charging my battery up on my phone so I can do it. Um, yeah. Oh, before I nearly dropped that then. Caught that. Lovely. <sighs> yeah, I feel a bit... Ugh. At the moment. Just do this one in here. It's really weird not having to get up and go to work every day, I tell you that now. I'm not complaining because I feel less stressed, I feel less anxious, my asthma's improved. My sleep, there's not a lot of difference in that because it depends on Jennifer. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. So it's like... And the problem is, if I got a job, I'd have to probably get a job working evenings and weekends, and then Jennifer would never see me, I'd never see Paul. So we're just going to try and make this work. Whether it will or not, I don't know, but we'll have a good go. So then, like I said, that's why I monetized the weekly vlog. It's just so that I can get money in quicker, hopefully from that, so it can help pay, you know, go straight into my bank. I can either use it to buy a few items for the channel, which is what I normally do with it, or it's just there. I want to do a lot more vlogging. Like I said, I might do, in, in, in the week before I could talk about this, um, and if let me know if you're interested in me doing it, um, Vlogmas, which is a very short 10 to 15 minute vlog every day through December. From the first, uh, and it's a run up to Christmas. Whether or not we'll actually do anything, I don't know. We might take her to see Santa at one of the places, at the pub, just because I know they do it. But let me know, would you like Vlogmas or do you want to keep the weekly vlog going? What would you prefer? I don't mind. I'm quite happy to do either. Obviously doing it daily, Vlogmas, it's a bit more work because obviously I have to edit it that same day. But I can certainly do it. I've done it before. So, 
I'm currently reading a book called Sunset on the Square and it's set on my favourite island. It's set on the island of Tenerife, which if you know me, and I know you know me, you know I love Tenerife. So, yeah, I'm really enjoying it at the moment. It's a great book. Um, this one. And I'm really, really just enjoying the... Um, It, it makes me think about my holidays and I love it. I just love Tenerife to me. It's, it's where I want to retire. I'd love to be able to live there. It, it's one of those places that's really, really captured my heart. I'm not going to lie. I absolutely adore the place. And I, I love it very much. Whether or not I'll ever be able to retire there is another matter, but... something I think about a lot I would love to but it's money isn't it let's be honest so we need to uh, see what happens in the future there we go what are we doing for time oh we've only done 20 minutes that's not too bad I wonder who that is. I think it might be Jen. Oh, I know dinosaurs, I tell you. She does love them. She loves her dinosaurs, that kid. Even now. She's still more into dinosaurs than dolls. And I don't bother me. As long as the kid's happy, that's all that matters, isn't it? I've missed a bit of brown there, hang on. Ba -ba -ba. Yeah. I mean, she likes some girly things, but she does like her superheroes in her. Dinosaurs. I, I, I like that. I like the fact that she likes them. Poor old Paul. I said to him, he says, I'm not going back to sleep. I said, we well, have to stay upstairs. I'm going to be filming in a minute. He went, that's all right. <laughs> Hopefully he'll have dozed off. Or he's reading. I mean, there will become a time soon where I'll have to take a week off because it'd be half term and I'll have to look after Jen, um, which is fine. As long as I've got enough listings for the week, I can probably do a little bit. I won't do much, so I'll try and do more stuff with her and colouring and yeah, okay. If I got stuff to list, I'll list it and pack up any orders and take them down, that'll do. I do like it when I get an order. It makes me happy. There's always that fear that they're gonna return it, because that does happen. Um, sometimes people will say it's not as it is it described even though it is because they don't want to pay postage to get it back to you but some people are honest I had one the other week said oh they just don't fit me so she returned them and that's fine because she paid the postage back and I refunded her money and I've relisted them uh, it happens it's like going to the shops if you if you buy something without trying it on you take it back if it doesn't fit don't you or you 
try it on in the shop. But you can obviously, with internet shopping, you can't do that, so. But yeah, every time you hear that noise from eBay, you think, oh God, what is it now? And sometimes it's just somebody's bid on something. Sometimes it's just that you're watching something and it's ending or it's been relisted, something like that. Sometimes it's a return or a question and that's fine. Because, you know, I always put on mine any questions just to ask, so I don't mind that. There's another bit of brown I missed. I'm going to get that again in a minute. It's just there. Uh, it's like you spot a bit you miss and then you can't find it again. Oh, it's so silly. It really is sometimes. So, yeah. We'll just finish off these leaves and that'll do. I'll finish the rest of it off camera and the next time you'll see it will be in completed pages um, for the month because I will make sure that I've done it even if I have to use a different purple to go over that purple because I don't know where my purple's gone. And that's okay. It happens. It, it'll turn up. It's somewhere. I got another one so I'm not that worried. It gets annoying when the cat sits on them though. I wish I had something to eat and I'm a bit peckish. When I finish, I just have a snack before I go back to um, working on the eBay, getting the listings up. It's just annoying when they put on, they've taken off those flipping. <clears throat> What's it, haven't they? Delivery options, which I set up already. It's just so frustrating. Oh, I like this. It's quite nice. It's very relaxing, this colouring mark, isn't it? Don't you think? You think this colouring mark's a bit relaxing? I do. It's lovely. That's a drink. Just sit here and it's peaceful. If I, if I wasn't filming, I would have the TV on, which is on actually, but and I'd be watching a colouring video at the same time. Either a colour and chat from one of the many channels or halls, pages. Well, that's a good thing with a colour and chat. You can just carry on doing what you're doing, have it on in the background and listen to the person like me waffling on about rubbish because that's what I do. <clears throat> and that's okay. I enjoy it. I, I like talking to you. I mean... If anything interesting happens and I make when I make another one, I, I'll, I'll uh, let you know, obviously. Sorry, I keep doing that. I keep forgetting to check where it is in the frame. And I do apologise. I'm just not feeling too with it. I'll be all right. I guess I've got to find my purple. It'll turn up. So there's only that little bit of sky left to do now. So I'm going to leave it after this. Till I find it. You can see, I picked up a blue thinking it was the colour I was using, but it wasn't. It's the colour I'm using in the Alan Roberts book. <laughs> For a sky in there. Yes, I know. I am so... got too many pictures on the go. 
too many books I haven't coloured in, which is why I'm glad I'm not spending money on new books because I buy all these books and I just don't colour in them. I want to, but I don't. I'm going to though. So, I also want to colour in the books I've got. Like I've done one in this book already, so it's nice to get another one done. There we go, that's what I'm going to do for today. I know it's not as uh, it's not a, a brilliant picture, but I've enjoyed it. <coughs> like I said, I've just got the blossom falling or whatever it is and the rest of the sky to do and to tidy up the background sky, which I'll do. Um, and then I'll see you in the next one. So let me know if you want to do a brand new picture or if you want me to whip, the, whip a whip. Uh, I don't mind. Just let me know and I'll see you later.